So what is WhatsApp gifting? I think in the most traditional sense, WhatsApp gifting is a stock fell. It's a peer-to-peer -peer stock fell. Now, traditionally, when people participated in stock fells, they participated with people they know. They participated with their friends, uh, family members, because there was a trust relationship built. Now, with WhatsApp gifting, it's people that you know and people that you don't know that are basically partaking in this digital uh, stock fell method. So the reason why there's a low trust level of this is because you're basically giving money that, to people that you don't know. And from a risk point of view, you're like, hey, Daryl, if I tell my friends about this, what if no one participates in the actual stock fail? So I think that's the most biggest risk factor in this whole thing is that you're going to look at the risk that you are facing. Okay, cool. If you join this um, WhatsApp gifting program, like what do you have to lose? Ultimately, what you have to lose is if you join the low ticket one, which is 100 Rand, you stand a chance to lose 600 Rand. The 100 Rand that you put and basically the other, fi the other five people that you would have brought on. So that's the total risk factor that you're actually incurring. So when you're thinking about joining a WhatsApp gifting group, you've got to understand what the risk is. So there's a low ticket and there's a high ticket WhatsApp gifting program that's currently going on right now. So I've mentioned the low ticket one, which is the 100 Rand. Now the high ticket WhatsApp gifting program is when you put a 1,000 Rand and you get 6,000 Rand once you are number one in the queue. So essentially how it works is when you join the actual um, WhatsApp gifting group, you are you basically joining a queue and there's a person at number one and when you join, you pay the person that's at number one and the sequence just continues until everyone gets paid. So the process continues over and over and over and over until obviously there's no more people that's actually going to participate in the actual stock fell. So it leads to the question, is it sustainable? I mean, look, um, I think right now with everyone at home, from a short-term point of view, it will work. However, from a long-term perspective, it may not be sustainable due to the fact that the amount of people will decrease and the flow will decrease. Now, when the flow decreases, because you're dealing with money, people's emotions come into play, start getting negative, and that's where the problem comes through you know then then people start saying hey you know what this is a scam and so forth because the process is not being followed now that's the most difficult part about this whole thing is that the process is a man-made process it's something that somebody else like a human being has to physically do they have to do the transaction in order for you to get the money in this whole gifting process and that's and that's not good because when you're dealing with people, you gotta understand that people are people and people are emotional. So you're gonna be dealing with emotions and because that's the factor, there's a human factor there, that's like the biggest thing. Like when it comes to money, people are very like, oh, you know, people are like tight and it affects people in different ways because of the relationship they have with money. Like people have different relationships with money and that's why from a long-term perspective you got to think about that you got to think about your own risk tolerance and kind of figure out is it something that you want to actually participate in so look this video is not to encourage you or discourage you to join it's just an informational video so that you understand what whatsapp gifting is all about you can then make a decision for yourself if you want to join such a program but my personal perspective from a long-term perspective it is not sustainable because of um, there's a lot of human intervention and with human intervention, there's errors and so forth. And you really have to have the right psychology in order for you to participate in a group as that.